The Five Kassen Plaza is significantly less crowded now, but it's still too early to relax. This is a serious matter, and we must remain vigilant. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Hey, Sara! Oh, it's you. Do you have something to report? Really? Good. The Tenryo Commission has a responsibility to ensure public order and security during the Iridori Festival. If anything comes up, come to me. Oh, you look really busy. Has something serious happened? Nothing serious, really. We've just received a lot of reports in the past few days over things like line cutting, reselling goods at inflated prices, even troublemakers hogging the photo board. All minor incidents, but it all adds up to create a lot of work for a lot of people. Still, I take the fact that so many people are turning to us for assistance as a sign that the Tenryo Commission is gradually regaining the people's trust. The Shogun gave us orders to provide security at the Iridori Festival. This is a rare chance to change people's perception of the Tenryo Commission, so we cannot afford to slip up. Even if it's tiring work, we must rise to the challenge. Well, no matter how busy you are, at least you still found some time to come here and buy an almighty Shogun figurine, right? We want to buy one too! What do you mean, figurine? <clears throat> I'm just patrolling these parts. In fact, I was just about to leave. <laughs> no need to be shy. Actually, Miko told us that you got up super early this one time to make sure you could be the first in line to buy one of these figurines. <sighs> that Lady Gucci, how could she disclose... <sighs> Never mind. To be clear, I have no intention to hide that which I do out of reverence alone. But there is one thing you must be corrected on. Oh? What is it? That is not a figurine. It's a statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder. Do I make myself clear? Almighty Naru... Narukami Ogu... Uh, got it! This particular statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder, is a brand new addition. There will only be 300 available in this batch, and there is a limit of one per customer. Many people have been lining up since well before dawn to acquire one. I'm afraid if you're only showing up now, you're probably too late. Oh, really? So... so you definitely must have gotten here pretty early too then! Did you manage to get one yet? Normally, of course, I would come to purchase one myself. But on this occasion... My duties at the Iridori Festival had to take priority. We are required to report for duty long before the shops open. It is regrettable, but I had no choice but to forego the chance this time. Aww, what a shame. So instead, I had someone purchase one on my behalf. Oh, right! Wait, you can do that? Didn't you say they're limited to one per customer? This figurine is super popular. It must be pretty tough to find someone happy to buy one for you and not for themselves. I anticipated the same at first, but Lady Guji Yae found a professional to assist me, saying she appreciated our tireless efforts during the festival period. I don't know who the professional is, I assume it would be either someone from the Grand Narukami Shrine, or from the Yashiro Commission. But I did not ask. Given the time, I believe they should have completed the purchase by now. I am fortunate to have had Lady Guji's help this time. I likely would have struggled to find a candidate on my own. As well as being willing, they would need to be an early riser, and also tall enough to beat the crowds to the top shelf items. Early riser and tall. <laughs> hmm? What was that sound? Really? Well, never mind. 
I've been here long enough. It's time for me to head to my next patrol zone. Stay safe during the Iridori Festival. Life could be as many people. Uh oh, you found me. Sayu, what are you doing here? Oh, wait, are you the professional? Shh, quiet. She might still be in earshot. No way. I've been here since last night so I could buy a figurine. But after waiting and waiting, my eyes started to feel real droopy. And... I only meant to take a short nap. A really quick one. Oh, If I don't buy one of these figurines, the Tenryu Commission Tangle will lock me up for life. Sheesh. Goodness knows what Miko told you. I guess my only hope now is to sacrifice my salary for this month and buy one off of someone who got here in time. Really? Great! Then, here's my salary. Please don't spend it all. You didn't manage to get one either? That's strange. When I came to line up this morning, I checked with my friend who'd already bought one. She'd been lining up since before sunrise, and she was around the 100th in line. I was only 150 places behind her, so surely I should have gotten one. Hmm, something's wrong here. I'm gonna go ask the shopkeeper for an explanation. After coming all this way to Inazuma, and especially getting up early, I still walk away empty-handed. The first batch was smaller than I expected, and who knows when the next batch will come out. Well, since I'm here now, I guess I should buy some other souvenir instead. <laughs> Why so glum? Didn't manage to get your hands on a statue of her excellency, the almighty Narukami Gosho God of Thunder, by any chance? Sell it? Huh. I ain't selling. Not after all the effort I put in to get a hold of this. Go ask someone else. I can't believe it. I am definitely done for this time. A whole load of people are saying they didn't manage to get one. Did the shopkeepers get the count wrong or something? Hmm. Oh, why don't we go ask at a Pekasu? Hmm. Might as well. I guess there's nothing to lose. <laughs> Terribly sorry. I was otherwise occupied this morning and had someone else watch the shop. So I don't know all the details, but according to our records, we did sell the full 300. Hey, what about those ones at the back? Aren't they for sale? I'm sorry, those are... Those are display only. Please don't be too disappointed. We're only selling a limited number of these statues at the festival, and this was only the first batch. 
Please rest assured, you will all have the chance to purchase one in the future. But when will the next batch be ready? Also, this poor guy came all the way from Mondstadt. He got here earlier than me and was at least 50 places ahead of me. Even he didn't get one. How do you explain these numbers? Look, I don't know a whole lot about Inazuman festivals, but they do seem to have sold out pretty quickly. I'm terribly sorry, but I've triple-checked the sales records for this morning, and everything seems to be accounted for. Hmm... Why don't we get the Tenryo Commission to investigate this? The... the Tenryo Commission? No, no way. Hmm? Sorry, who are you? Oh, are you saying this falls under the Yashiro Commission's jurisdiction? Um... Um, yeah, it does. We will follow up on this matter, so... So there's no need to go to the Tenryu Commission. They're busy enough as it is. <laughs> uh, that's weird. How come Sai is so motivated to work all of a sudden? Shh. If the Tenryu Commission finds out about this, Kujo Sara will come ask me about it. And then, she'll find out that I didn't buy her figurine, and... Anyway, we can't get the Tenryo Commission involved, not unless there's no other way. Huh. Well, since someone's already on the case, I suppose I'll just wait for the findings. <sighs> since I came all this way and didn't get a figurine, I guess I might as well look at what else is available. Thank you both for your understanding. We will make an announcement as soon as the results of the investigation come out. Hmm. So we're supposed to be investigating, but we don't have any leads at all! Oh, maybe the customers really did make a mistake with the Count. If only we had a witness who'd been here the whole time! You mean me? Sorry, I was asleep. Did I hear anything? Uh, let me think... <sighs> I'll take these, please. Thank you for your patronage. Please come again. Thank you... patronage... Oh yeah! Now I remember! I heard thank you for your patronage over and over again this morning. Huh? How many times? Three hundred? Uh, I mean, I... Um... 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 I got it! There were at least 16 snores between each thank you for your patronage. That's not how you count it! 16 snores should be about one minute. And if we add on the time for moving the boxes and stocking the shelves... Mm. Right! Sales only started about four hours ago, so there's definitely a problem with the amount. Wh which means, even though I only woke up just now, I still have a chance of getting my hands on one. Maybe. Well, anyway, maybe I failed my mission because a bad guy did something tricky, not because I was being lazy. So then, who's the bad guy? Hmm, well, the shop was pretty strict with this promotion. Not only was there a one per customer limit, they even checked people's identity. So there's no way anyone could have bought more than one. And with Sara's people patrolling the area, no one could have cut the line, right? If someone was up to no good, they definitely try to find a way to sell the figurines at a higher price. Let's go ask the guy who says he had to put in a lot of effort to get a hold of one. Maybe he knows something. Huh? You want to know how I got my hands on the statue? <laughs> Dream on! Huh? Why? It's not like we're trying to buy yours off you! 
It's a no, okay? No more questions. Huh? How come? How... how did you know? Huh? Oh, oh, right. Yeah, we are professionals. Okay, fine. Since you guessed it anyway. But let me be clear. Don't spread this around. I came here bright and early to line up, but the first batch of statues sold out almost immediately. I wasn't very happy about that, so I went around to the back door of a Pegasus to see if I could find a shop assistant to ask about when the next batch would be coming out. To my surprise, I saw him moving boxes and boxes worth of statues out of the store. Needless to say, I was all ready to march up and demand to know what was going on. But... Well... Uh, yes, uh, but I paid the shop assistant full price for it, so it was still a legitimate transaction. It's not for you to decide whether it was a legitimate transaction or not. Huh? It's... the Tenryo Commission? The Tenryo Commission has received reports that someone has been hoarding goods to resell at extortionate prices. Now, these are not classed as strategic materials, so some amount of price fluctuation is expected in the market. However, it is against the law for a staff member to abuse their position to forge sales records and misappropriate goods. We have already investigated the situation at Apeikusu. The sales records are correct, but in the cash box, there are two bags in which most of the cash has been replaced with stones. But... but how can this be? Please hand over your statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, as evidence. We will compensate you for your loss once we catch the individual responsible. Ah, fine. So this guy was cooking the books. Never saw that coming. You guys figured this out pretty quickly, Sara. In fact, we were only just tipped off. We're still working on the logistics of the arrest operation. Hm? Who's this? Yikes! I've been spotted! Oh, you must be the professional Lady Guji hired. I was just wondering why I hadn't seen you yet. Um, we... we were... investigating the missing figurines. Oh, I mean, statues of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Okosho, God of Thunder. Is that so? Then thank you. The Tenryo Commission will take over from here. Rest assured, we will get to the bottom of the matter. Uh... Hmm? Um, um... So, uh, about your statue... Really? Thank you. So, where is the statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder? Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Sayu spent the whole night investigating the staff. So, by the time she got back, she was just too late to buy one. Yeah, right. I definitely would have made it back in time to buy one, if only it hadn't been for someone stealing the statues. I see. So in the end, you did not manage to purchase a statue, correct? Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't blame yourself. The criminal is the one responsible here. The important thing now is to devise a plan to bring him to justice as swiftly as possible. Mm-hmm. According to the intelligence, the suspect has already started reselling the statues near the festival venue. But he is lying low and operating very discreetly. If we confront him head on, he's likely to destroy the evidence and dash. Instead, we will seek to quietly surround him. But in order to achieve this, we will require one person to approach and distract him. Since you've spent the whole night thoroughly investigating this situation, I can think of no one else more suitable to gain his trust than you. Would you be willing to help the Tenryo Commission one final time? 
What? Uh, <laughs> right. Leave it to us. <laughs> Who introduced you? I'm trying to keep a low profile here, so I'm afraid I don't take any new business except for referrals by existing customers. That guy. Fine. He did technically buy from me, I suppose. But let me be clear. This product is highly sought after right now. I can't sell to you at the same price he paid. The price has gone up again? Well, you can take it or leave it. Believe me, there's plenty more room for upwards mobility on the price. It just so happens to be in my interest to get these off my hands sooner rather than later. Besides, <laughs> good luck trying to find anyone else out there selling. Hmm, we gotta keep negotiating as long as we can. <sighs> I don't have time for this. Just name your price. Deal. Let's schedule a time for you to pick up the product. Hold on. Paimon thinks that the price is still a little too high. You think that's high? <laughs> It'll be at least double that in a few days. You think this is a game or something? If you're not serious about buying, quit wasting my time. I should be moving on to my next location by now. Not stuck here arguing with you. The next location you move to will be the police station. You are under arrest for abusing your position for personal gain and falsifying accounts. Do not attempt to resist. The evidence is indisputable. The Tenryo Commission? When did you... Wait, all that negotiating... Thank you for your help. The culprit has revealed the location where he stashed the statues, and we have sent people to collect them. Great! So once Epekusu has counted the goods and stuffed the shelves, we can get back in the line to buy one, right? This time, I must complete my mission. I'm afraid it's not that simple. The stolen goods will have to be kept as evidence at the police station for some time. They will not be available for purchase in the immediate future. Paimon can't believe it! I would be grateful if you could inform the shopkeeper about this. I should return to the station and see how things are going. Although Sora didn't say anything, she seemed a little disappointed, don't you think? Aww... Is there really nothing we can do? I see. Uh, thank you. We'll make a compensation plan and announce it as soon as possible. Wait, hold on. Although this statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narugami Ogosho, God of Thunder, was only intended as a display item, now that I think about it, why don't you have it as a gesture of my gratitude? After all, it was our negligence that caused trouble for you all on this occasion. This is just a small gift, a mere token, but I do hope you can accept it. Really? Sounds good. As long as we give this to Sara, my mission will be completed. Uh-oh. I've been so nervous all day, and now I can finally relax. I feel really tired all of a sudden. 
Please, take this figurine to the police station. <sighs> Sayu, signing out. Is this? We just grabbed it and came straight here! But now that Paimon takes a closer look at it, it's really well made! Of course. This is a prototype designed by Yae Publishing House's top artist and crafted by the most skilled lacquerware master in Inazuma City. Otherwise, how could one hope to capture even one thousandth of the almighty Shogun's majesty? Let alone maintain it. To do that, you must buy a special kind of shrine and worship it properly. It's also essential to clean it often to avoid a buildup of dust. And it's best practice to hire a craftsman to perform regular maintenance. What's wrong? These are the five principles for maintenance of the statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder. And I haven't even finished explaining the first one. I never knew there was such a fuss over these tiny figurines. <laughs> I'm surprised Miko never mentioned it to me. Y your Excellency, this is most unexpected. I had some spare time, so I decided to come out for a stroll. Oh, did you buy this figurine yourself? I... it's... it was... It was her. Hey, what? Huh. I didn't know you liked little trinkets like these. Your Excellency, I've yet to finish the defense arrangements for the Iridori Festival. Please excuse me. Very well. Thank you. Watching Sara leave, she looked kind of sad. I have another such figurine in Tenshukaku, a sample sent by Yae Publishing House. I don't need it, so I think I'll gift it to you. I shall not go back on my word. I have committed to giving it to you. What you choose to do with it is your business. You're quite free to give it to somebody else, if you wish. Or, to save you the trouble, I can have someone from Tenshukaku deliver it directly. But, of course, your name will have to be written as the sender. <sighs> Why does all this have to be so complicated? <clears throat> Good. I'll have someone attend to this shortly. Oh, and I wish you a pleasant and enjoyable Irodori Festival. A blade. It embraces its duty. As a jeweler cherishes their gems. As a 
jeweler cherishes their gem. Again. Wow! It's Kokumi and Goro! So the Divine Priestess and the General of Watatsumi Island have come to take part in the Iridori Festival! Yes, but we are not here representing Watatsumi Island's administration. We were invited as individuals. Things are quiet in Watatsumi Island at the moment, and I wanted to buy some books. So I decided to make the trip here. Goro was not greatly interested in the Irodori Festival. But he said if I was going to Rito, he would join me. Her Excellency is traveling outside of Watatsumi Island and also meeting her pen pal today. As her general, it is my duty to ensure her safety at every turn. Pen pal? Yes, we started corresponding just recently. My pen pal and I share very similar tastes in light novels. And we always have a lot of interesting thoughts to share. Of course, there are also times when we fiercely disagree. Since we were both coming to the Irodori Festival this time, we decided to take the opportunity to hold a book review session and discuss our views on various novels in more depth. Sounds pretty professional! Hey, since you both like novels, why don't you try writing one together? Who knows, maybe you'll shake things up on the Inazuman literary scene! <laughs> That's a very interesting idea. It's almost time. Goro and I must go to meet my pen pal at the agreed upon location. Kokumi, Paimon's super curious about this pen pal of yours. Can Paimon come with you? Don't worry, Paimon will just watch from a distance and won't interrupt anything. Hmm, let me think. Yes. I think it should be fine for you two to come with me. All right, let's go together. This is the meeting spot. Huh, there's no one else around. It looks like we're early. My, my. Who have we here? of the Grand Narukami Shrine. No wonder. I was just wondering where that air of superiority was coming from. <laughs> if it isn't the leader of Watatsumi Island, who looks as soft as a jellyfish, but whose words sting like one too. Uh-oh, this is getting out of control fast! Hello. Nice to meet you, fried tofu with all the frills. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, soul of the deep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Miko is Kokomi's pen pal? No, it can't be. Look at them. Clearly they already knew each other. Does that mean... Hmm? Whatever are you talking about? I don't understand. I'm simply here for the book review session with Miss Soul of the Deep. Let's go. The venue for this meeting is in the Konjo Commission headquarters up there. The view is excellent, making it a perfect place to drink tea and discuss creative ideas. Who holds a book review in the Konjo Commission? You seriously expect anyone to believe that? You're not here to talk about shaking up the Inazuma literary scene. You're here to talk about shaking up things in Inazuma as a whole! <laughs> Watatsumi Island will soon hold formal talks with the Shogunate on Inazuma's future development. 
It's essential to have an informal meeting like this one before the formal talks begin. Right, especially with someone outside of the Shogunate like myself, who is in a good position to test out where each party draws the lines. But this is just our first meeting. It's a little too early to announce it to the general public. Huh. Okay, then. By the way, where is your general? Didn't you say he would be joining you? Huh. That's right. Where did Goro go? Goro went to buy some books for me. He won't be attending the book review. Oh, what a pity. I was rather looking forward to seeing his fluffy ears again. Traveler... Uh, I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Hmm... I have been getting the sense that Goro does not like having to deal with Gujiai. So, I was initially reluctant to bring him to Rita with me this time. I noticed he instinctively hid as soon as he saw her just now. However, Goro has a strong sense of responsibility and will feel ashamed when he next sees me. So, I would like to give him the task of buying some books for me to make things easier for him. But Goro rarely buys anything. So, as a favor from me, I'd like to ask you to accompany him. Kokumi, you focus on the meeting with Nico. Leave the books to us and Goro. Thank you. I made a list of the books I'd like to buy. Please, pass it on to Goro. It's you. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you know who to show up. Oh, it, it completely caught me by surprise. I had no idea what to say to her. Next thing I knew, I'd apparently already taken cover. I came here to ensure the safety of Her Excellency, but now I'm useless. I've become a burden instead. Goro, don't be so hard on yourself. Actually, Kokumi asked us to give you a very important task. Oh, Her Excellency's purchase list. Got it. This is how Her Excellency wants me to make up for my mistakes. No problem. Just leave it to me. Goro, let us come with you. We can chill you around the Iridori Festival while we're at it. Ah, oh, thank you so much. There is a children's storybook on this list called Night at Mount Yogo. I think this is the stand where it's being sold. A children's storybook? Yes, it's for the children of Watatsumi Island. Her Excellency says that this book is simply written and very useful for learning new words. Hello, I'll take uh, five copies of Night at Mount Yogo, please. Thank you for your patronage. Wow, you're a lucky customer. There's a coupon in one of the books you just bought, which entitles you to a free gift. Wow, Goro got a free gift! That's amazing! Here you go. A toy box. It's all yours. What? Uh, <clears throat> a toy fox? Are you okay? The hair on your tail is standing on end. I... Fine, thanks for the gift. Could you maybe uh, l l look after the toy for me? Yes, uh, as a thank you gift for coming with me to buy the books. Uh, seems like Goro still hasn't recovered from seeing Nico. 
Okay, uh, next up, uh, this isn't the focus of this trip, but let's go buy a light novel. It says on the list that Her Excellency had an editor called Onodera purchase the latest issue of A Legend of Sword for her in advance. Well, we'd better not keep him waiting too long. Oh, we know him! We'll lead the way! Excuse me, are you Mr. Onodera? I'm here to pick up the new issue of A Legend of Sword for Soul of the Deep. Hello there, yes, I have the book right here. I heard Soul of the Deep is the VIP of the Iridori Festival, but I couldn't make it here in time for the signing event due to the shipping schedule. Oh, uh, also, if you have these books available, uh, please give me one of each. Thank you. All right, let me see. Oh my goodness, it's your lucky day today, sir. You are the hundredth reader to buy the Saga Ahamavarin. That entitles you to receive a special edition version with a review personally written by Lady Yai herself. Whoa. Are you serious? Are you okay? You don't look very well. I, I'm fine. Thank you for the books. Her ex... <clears throat> uh, Soul of the Deep asked me to buy this book after all. I'm sure she'll be very happy to receive a special version with the chief editor's review. Guru <laughs> uh. does not look like he's enjoying this at all. Hyman doesn't know if he's lucky or unlucky. Oh, one other thing. Because of the amount of your purchase, you're able to enter the Yai Publishing House's lucky draw. Please come with me, right this way. Sir, please take your lucky draw whenever you are ready. Just turn the handle and a prize ball will come out. Maybe today's your lucky day. Come on, Goro, go for it! Let me see. <gasps> oh, wow, incredible! You got the golden ball! That's the grand prize! Goro, you're a lucky dog today. So what is the grand prize anyway? The grand prize is a full collection of each light novel published by Yai Publishing House. Not only is the prize awarded personally by Lady Yai, but you will also have the chance to shake hands and take a photo with her to commemorate the occasion. What? Not only do I have to meet her, but I have to shake her hand and take a photo with her too? What? This guy won the Yai Publishing House's grand prize? Wow, that's so lucky! An entire set of all their light novels? That's worth a lot of money. Ah... Uh, um... Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Could we... discuss this? I don't actually want the light novels. Huh? You mean you want to give up the prize? Goro, don't give up your prize! If you don't want to see Miko, that's fine. We'll figure something out. No, uh, that's not what I meant. I'm not giving up the prize, and uh, I can cope with the ceremony and the, <clears throat> the picture taking. But I have a request. I would like to ask Yai Publishing House to change the prize from light novels to books on agricultural science of equivalent value. Agricultural science? Yes. The land in Watatsumi Island is quite barren and always yields a poor grain harvest. We've been looking for new ways to improve the residents' lives. One of her ex, uh, Soul of the Deep's core objectives for the Iridori Festival was to purchase some works on crop cultivation and aquaculture. If I can get these books as my prize instead, we can save a lot of money, and Soul of the Deep can buy some other useful resources too. I see. I understand your request, but I don't have the authority to grant it. Lady Yai will have to have the final say. I will contact Lady Yai now. Please wait for our reply at the Five Kassen Plaza. Depending on the situation, Lady Yai might need to negotiate this matter with you further in person. Okay, 
Understood. to deal with Miko, but you still agreed to the ceremony and even made your own demands. You think so? I guess I got a burst of courage when I thought about Her Excellency's orders and the people of Watatsumi Island. I am the general of Watatsumi Island's armed forces. How could I let something like this defeat me? I'm ready now. I feel like I'm back on the battlefield. Even if Yai Miko does come to negotiate with me, I won't let myself be pressured by her. You still look pretty nervous, though, Goro. Oh, well, probably because I just realized she might make a cunning counter request just to toy with me. Sorry for keeping you all waiting. How did it go? What did Guji Yai say? Lady Yai has agreed to your request to swap the light novels for books on agricultural science. Additionally, Lady Yai says that she will include a few extra works, considering your intended use for those books. You may accompany me to Yai Publishing House's warehouse to select your preferred books. I believe your return ship leaves tomorrow night. We will package the selected books and take them directly onto the ship for you. You'll package the books? Then, what about the ceremony? Lady Yai said selecting the books may take up a lot of your time and energy. To ensure you have fond memories of the Iridori Festival, she decided to cancel the ceremony. Although, she did leave you a letter. You can read it on your own time. I didn't think Yai Miko would cancel the ceremony. Huh. I was so convinced that she would try and make a fool out of me. Now it seems like I was overly suspicious of her. Anyway, I'll go with the editor to pick the books now. I won't trouble you guys anymore. Great! See you tomorrow night! made a great contribution. He procured a whole batch of useful books for Watatsumi Island. Uh, I may have won the prize, but ultimately, it was Yai Miko who gave us all these books for free. If I have the chance in the future, I must thank her properly. Speaking of, didn't Yai Miko send you a letter yesterday? What did it say? Oh, it, I, I almost forgot. I'll read it now. Dear Goro, I suppose you must have been extremely nervous when you heard about the prospect of the award ceremony and the photo. It came as a surprise indeed to learn that not only did you accept those conditions, you also made your own demands. Your courage has won my respect. Those books are a token of my goodwill to Watatsumi Island, and also my gift to you. I do hope you like them. Ah, yes. I'm sure that by this point, you must be feeling ever so grateful for my kindness and are looking for a way to repay me, yes? Well, here's your chance. Yai Publishing House will host an event next month, and we are looking for someone to dress up as a character from a light novel and interact with the fans. Goro, 
You are not only patient, but also very beautiful. Why don't you come and help us? I'll prepare a tailor-made outfit just for you. Oh, and by the way, it'll be a woman's outfit. Hmm? I knew it! I knew she was up to something!